Since the early days, Bitcoin has followed a repetitive price cycle that lasts about four years. Let's dive into what may cause this cycle, the cycles we have seen in the past, and what we can expect in the future. Every 10 minutes on average, a new block of transactions is added to Bitcoin's blockchain. The miner who collects, verifies, and adds this block to the network is rewarded with newly minted Bitcoin known as the block subsidy. The block subsidy started at 50 Bitcoin for every block mined. Every 210,000 blocks, or approximately every four years, the amount of freshly issued Bitcoin is cut in half. This is known as the halving event. So in 2009, it was 50 Bitcoin per block. In 2012, 25 Bitcoin per block. And in 2016, 12.5 BTC per block. Today, the subsidy is 3.125 Bitcoin per block. The Bitcoin miners who receive these new coins have huge operational costs. Hardware, warehousing, cooling, energy, and so on. These miners need to sell the coins that they mine to cover these costs and turn a profit. And after every halving event, they only have half the coins to dump on the market and push the price down. Historically, Bitcoin's price cycle tends to follow this halving event with two main stages. In stage one, Bitcoin tends to rally for about a thousand days. The rally starts one to two years before the halving and ends one to two years after the halving. In stage two, Bitcoin peaks and has a bear market that lasts approximately one year. Here is a chart I made in February to clearly show what I mean. Here we can see we have halving one. Now leading up to this halving and after the halving, we had a huge rally. Then we had a bear market. Here is halving two, we see the same thing. We had a rally leading into the halving and we rallied after the halving until we saw this bear market. And here is halving three and we saw the same thing again, a rally into the halving and a rally after the halving. Now let's go ahead and look at each halving individually. Here is the first Bitcoin halving we experienced. As we can see, Bitcoin bottoms 375 days before the halving and peaks 367 days after the halving. We then experienced a bear market that lasted 410 days. Next, we have halving two. We see Bitcoin had a bear market over here that lasted 410 days. It then bottomed 539 days before the halving and peaks 526 days after the halving. Then we had a bear market that lasted about one year. Now let's take a look at halving three. And halving three is very similar to halving two. We can see that Bitcoin bottoms 513 days before the halving and peaks 548 days after the halving. We then see a bear market that lasted about a year once again. Now this is Bitcoin's price today. In 2024, we experienced the fourth Bitcoin halving. Using the previous two halvings as guidance, if history repeats itself, we can expect this bull market to last about 1,064 days, which puts us at a peak in October 2025. Then if history repeats itself again, we can expect a one year bear market going into October 2026. Now, what should you actually do with this information? Here on my blog about the four year cycle explained, we can see I conclude with the following. Although it's generally best to buy during the bearish cycle, you should just buy Bitcoin anyway. Turn your productivity, your skills, and your work into hard money. Do not try time in the market, just buy Bitcoin because it is the only verifiably scarce asset we have on this planet. And then I conclude with this chart. If you purchase Bitcoin at this peak in 2014, you are still up 40X at a price of $47,000. So again, just buy Bitcoin, no matter what the price is, there is always another halving around the corner.